ask them is for y'all to lay the lace better than I can. Now the lace is here. I'm not going to do this to myself. Whatever. So this time around, keep in mind, I had left the second wig at the shop to get dyed pink. Like we had agreed, like we're going to do a pink color, blah, blah, blah. This is two weeks ago, two weeks ago. So she texted me last night a picture of the wig and it's dark pink. And she's like, oh, like, you know, I colored the wig, but it's too dark. You want me to like change the color to more pastel? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, all right, well, I'm going to let you know if you should come in tomorrow or if you should come in Friday. In my mind, I'm like, huh? You making my schedule for me? Like, no, my appointment is for tomorrow. So what are you talking about? Like, in my mind, I'm like, you had two weeks to dye this hair and now you're trying to push it back because you didn't get the color right? Like, babe, that's a problem. But I'm like, you know what? Friday works better for me anyways. Like, it's cool. Like, because I could move around if I need to. But in my head, I'm like, what if Friday didn't work? You know? You know? So I'm like, I don't to do. I'm not just like, no, open free app like whatever so she sends me pictures like hair color the color's not right she's like i'm gonna try to change it i'll let you know if you should come in friday instead of tomorrow no friday i'm like friday okay whatever friday could work then she takes the color out she sends me a picture of the color the color is orange i'm like okay she's like i'm gonna do it one more time hold on i'm about to start showing out pictures hold on i hope i saved you so she today, okay, I got it right here. So today she FaceTimes me. This is like three hours before my appointment. Three hours before my appointment, she FaceTimes me and shows me a picture of the wig. This is the wig. Hold on. This is the wig. This is the wig. The wig is supposed to be pink, y'all. So I'm like, um, I was like, well, the bottom like underneath looks cool, but the top part is yellow. I'm like, yeah, nah, like, that's not gonna, I was like, yeah, no, it looks yellow. She's like, well, it's because the wig must have been toned beforehand and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. She's like, honestly, she's like, I don't have time to be doing all this um, hair dyeing shit. Like, I have a client right now on my chair. Like, I don't have time to be dyeing hair and stuff like that. In my mind, I'm like, bitch, what you mean you ain't got time to be dyeing hair? Babe, you had two weeks to dye this hair. And now you got a client in your chair? I'm a client. Bitch, I'm paying you. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't have time to do your job, bitch? Like, make it make sense. So, whatever. I'm like, you know what? Okay, it's cool. Never mind. Like, hold on. I'm like, it's cool. Never mind. Like, I'm going to just come pick up the hair like you said. Like, whatever, you know? So, she sends me another picture. She's like, basically, like, she had redunked that ugly ass hair. And, like, it looked cute. So, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, the hair looks cute. I'm going to just come. I'm going to come to the original appointment, which is 4 p.m. So, bitch, I, you know, I stopped. Go get some food. I'm already out. I'm running errands. Stop. Go get some food. I'm killing time. I drive to her shop. Keep in mind, her shop is an hour and five minutes away from me. Who? Oh, for real? Oh, you did? What'd you say? Are you banned? It was like she was never banned, but she locked me in her garage. I should see what Oh, I did do that. I and forgot then about that. Like, she's with me, and I said, It's your birthday. It was like she'd come with a crazy ass. Okay, cool. I did lock it in the garage. She forgot about that. But I'll tell you later. But, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways, so whatever. So I drive, I go to the hair appointment or whatever, right? And I'm early, bitch. I'm sitting in the fucking car. For 15 minutes, and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get here exactly on time because you already know that LA stylists be bullshitting. You feel me? So I'm like, let me get here exactly on time. I get there once again, once again. The gates are locked. It's, it's, it's literally 3:58. I'm like going up the stairs. You feel me? I'm a very punctual person. I did not play that late shit. I respect people's time. Whatever. So I get to the top of her stairs where there's another gate. The gate is still locked. I keep calling her, texting her. Hey, I'm here at the gate again. I'm here again. So. Whatever, the shit is so locked. I call this bitch like three times. Whatever, back to back to back. I'm like, bro, this bitch doing the same shit again. Keep in mind, she already hella fucking unprofessional. Already was trying to reschedule, do all this other weird ass shit. So look, somebody else comes and opens the gate. You feel me? Ryan, I'm so happy you're here listening to this shit. Somebody else comes and opens the gate and I'm like, cool. I go up to her sweet door and I hear people in there. So I'm like, let me just, you know, do a little knock. I don't want to be intrusive. I go like this, literally. Like two, literally two knocks. And then I see the door is like unlocked. So I'm like, cool, let me just open it. So 
they're not even paying attention to me when I walk in. And I'm like, hey, you didn't see me calling you? At that point, I do kind of, I know I kind of was asking that to be a little bit funny, but I didn't say it in a rude way. But I was like, hey, you didn't see me calling you? Bitch, I know you see me calling you. Bitch, I done called you fucking three times back to back and I texted you, bitch. How did you not see me calling you? If you're, if you know that you have a hair appointment at 4 p.m., bitch, you should be paying attention to your phone to know it's gonna be ringing. Am I correct or am I fucking correct? Bitch, I paid your little raggedy ass $50 deposit, bitch. I paid you fucking $300 last time and I'm gonna pay you another $300 today. So, bitch, maybe you should pay attention to your fucking phone when the fucking, when the money is calling, babe. So, look, this is where shit gets crazy. So, whatever. I walk in. Legit, bro. This is exactly it. I'm going to reenact it. So, I walk in from, I walk in right here, right? And I'm like, hey, you didn't, they're right here. I'm like, hey, you didn't see me calling you? She's like, obviously, I didn't see you calling me if I didn't answer the phone. This is what the bitch says, right? So, I'm like, well, okay. And I start walking this way to go sit down. And she goes, you know what? You can just take the way they go. So I go like this. Look, I go like this. I go to the wig, I grab the wig off the mannequin. I said, okay, cause I don't have time for this weird ass shit anyways. At that point, I'm fucking annoyed. I'm like, bitch, you, you keep trying out this weird ass shit. She trying to say it, she was trying to say it in a tone of like, um, like I'm supposed to ask her or beg her. Bitch, I just drove an hour over here. I paid you a little funky ass. Can I cancel that deposit? I'm about to try to count on Apple Pay. No, bitch, it's too much. Bitch, because I'm really petty. So anyways, I picked the wig up. I said, okay, that's fine, because I don't have time for this weird ass shit anyways. So I grabbed the wig. I, walk, I started walking out. She's like, well, you will have to pay me for that. She walks behind me. Walks behind me. Well, you will have to pay me for that color. I turn around. I said, cool, how much? She goes, it's $50. I said, okay. The client gets up out of her chair and comes t- tries to walk up on me. You haven't even heard this part. Her fight? Bitch, yeah. The bitch walks up on me. So, bitch, I'm over here like this. Hold on, I gotta move the fucking couch. Bitch, the bitch, the bitch, the, the client walks up on me. Keep in mind, the hairstylist bitch is already like right here. What like, you gotta pay me. I'm like, I paid you. I'm like, how much? She's like, 50. So, the client walks in. Nah, because you gotta pay her before you, you're not about to leave with that wig if you're not about to pay her. Whoa, 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 bitch. You don't know that this is my motherfucking wig. Bitch, are you fucking half dumb or half retarded? Bitch, let me know which one it is. So, the bitch walks up to me, right? In my mind, I'm like, am I about to have to fight this old ass bitch? Wow. I turn my body, bitch, because all of a sudden, I'm like, I already then went through a situation where a bitch just snuck me off the fucking side. So I'm like, let me turn towards this bitch. I'm like, I'm like, I already paid her. I'm like, what, like, what, like, basically, what the fuck are you in my face for, bitch? Like, and she's like, well, it's fifty. I said, you got my deposit, right? That's fifty dollars, right? You just said it's fifty dollars. I'm like, okay, so keep that. So I'm like, you're unprofessional as fuck. She's like, no, because you got an attitude problem. Attitude problem, bitch. Yes, I have an attitude because you're hella fucking unprofessional, bitch. I'm paying you. You stylists need to get it out your mind. Is she even certified? I don't know. Look, hello, 911, bitch. I don't know. But the bitch was telling me how much she hated doing hair and all this shit. I'm like, clearly you hate doing hair, bitch. We could tell. Like, you're, you're good and all. Bitch, I shut the fuck up when you were being hella homophobic. Bitch, I shut the fuck up when you were being hella late. I shut the fuck up when you wouldn't come open the gate. I shut the fuck up when you was trying to reschedule and book my motherfucking schedule of my life. I shut up. But bitch, who is this old ass bitch? And do you not know that I will fucking punch her in her fucking throat and rip this damn ponytail off that you just so in? Like, I was really, and I'm over there by myself. You feel me? I'm by myself with these two bitches right here talking to me. And I'm like... Bitch, I done paid you the money. I'm not broke, bitch. Like, I, I gave you the money. She don't deserve a cent from me, for real. She really don't. And she really deserves me to put her on fucking blast. The bitch blocked me because she knows she dead ass fucking wrong. But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Because it's just going to get dragged. I can TikTok about her. Put her in. I'm just like, bitch, you're weird as fuck. I'm like, you're hella weird. Bitch is weird as fuck. I'm like, why is your client trying to regulate? Is this customer service? Bitch, I'm confused. Is this the customer service? Bitch, this old, decrepit ass, fucking chain smoking ass, fucking old, decrepit, grabby ass bitch. Like, hold on, because you gon', you not gonna leave before you pay her. Auntie, I got an auntie for you too. Damn, you look like an auntie. Bitch, I'm like, is why? Bro, Nemo, come here. Come here. Just imagine this. I need you. 
I need, I need to reenact this. You're standing right here. Back this up. Back this up. If you're standing right here, you're me. You're me. She's walking up like, hold on, because you're not just about to leave with the. Keep in mind, at that point, I was turned this way. So she was like, hold on, because you're not. Just... I had to turn my entire body. Hold on, bitch. Are we gonna have to do something? Like, I'm confused. You want to fight with the granny? Bitch, I'm like, why is this bitch hopping? I was not gonna. Let's talk about that. Let's get into that. Let's get into it being four pieces. No, but y'all, it was some real ghetto ass shit. So I took the fucking wig and I left. Cause what, bitch? You thought literally as soon as I walked, she's like, "Oh, well, you can just take the wig and go." What am I gonna beg you to say? For your services, deuces, bitch. Give me my fucking wig, right? Like really, fuck them hoes, bitch. I'm mad I was by myself too. Cause honestly, I probably would have fucking did too much if I was with somebody. But I was like, you know what? I'm by myself. These bitches can throw me down the stairs right now. Whatever. I said, yes. You feel me when you're by yourself and it's two bitches in your face and you're just like, okay. Yeah, I know your attitude. If you would have been with someone, you would have hit the most. I would be like, all right, hold this shit, bitch. Why are you walking up on me, yo? Like, you feel me? You would have had to fight granny. But exact. But I still was like, whatever, fuck it. Because, bitch, why are you walking up on me, bitch? Like, I don't care how ghetto you are, bitch. I don't care how much of a classy, bad, bougie, fucking rich bitch that I am. What? <laughs> bitch, I was still fucking throat punchy, bitch. No, she... no, that was very, very ghetto. And It's she, so ghetto. Honestly, I bet you she doesn't have a license and I have to report her to the people. Call the police on her. Yeah. Where's the wig now? It's in my backseat. That wig is fried, dyed, and she's... Fried, dyed, and laid to the fucking side, y'all. Where's the wig? Y'all, it's in the car. Like, you decrepit old ass bitch. But the girl is actually young, which is crazy. She's hella young. She got a whole kid and everything. It's telling me all about that. Homophobic, homophobic and got a son. how that work? Damn. You never know what could happen. The wig is actually cute now, y'all. When she had died again, it ended up being cute. But the shit was terrible. I'm not gonna put her on blast, y'all. She already fucking blocked me. She already knew what was coming. She knew. No, she's dumb as fuck. Y'all missed the whole story, y'all. It was so ghetto. And I'm hella mad because, like, honestly, I was like, let me just shut the fuck up to get my hair done. It was one of those situations. You know when it's a hairstylist, that's hella fire but they're hella unprofessional her hair is really good i went to her case she does really, yeah. really good she hair. does good hair you should tell her sorry i'm not telling that bitch sorry she shit she can suck my fucking dick i'm not she is a good stylist but that's why she got an attitude problem because she probably she feels like oh well you know i'm really good yeah you're really good babe you'll never get my guess this again did you meet her on instagram i dm'd her bitch i paid her she didn't do nothing for promo i didn't well, not for promo her. but it's like if i know that somebody is a psychopath. Um, I'm not really gonna put my business at. Like, I'm not really gonna put my. Put Where are you going right now? No, I just haven't tried this on, and I'm not gonna wear this tonight. If I do go, you're not wearing heels. I'm not wearing those cool jeans. I mean, I might. I'm a bitch, I'm not wearing sneakers. I'm short. I'm short as you. Yeah, exactly. So you should grow up. <laughs> All the niggas are our height. What do you mean? I don't want none of them niggas. I don't want any of them. So we're gonna be looking. It might be hotties. It might be hotties with bodies there. Probably not. And even if there was, we you don't, don't want. Think so? You don't want any of them, and neither do I. Even if there was the finest man in the world. I mean, you know, I'm not saying finest, but like, if there's even a man that's a five, a ten, you don't want it. Okay, neither do I. So let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that was the fucking story time. Fuck that bitch, and um, I'm not gonna give you guys her at or nothing. Because she's a weirdo. And honestly, I really need to dispute that little funky ass $50 because she can go straight to hell if she got a problem. She can hit me up about it. Unblock me about it. She's bad luck to walk with my shoe on. Anyways, roaches, bye. Wait.